out of there. Another emergency light has bit the dust. This one was installed by us on uh, well November 2011. So it's time to put up another LED emergency light. And this is one that we've fitted before. Inside. It's uh, got 3.6 volt um, uh, sub C. Uh, can't tell what amp hour it is. And um, I want to see whether this lights up without having mains put in first. And it does. So this will be good to use as a torch. Or like a camping light. So you could change these out for uh, lithium iron cells 18650s. And uh, have an off switch and charge port. Put a BMS in to make sure it doesn't overdo it. And uh, have yourself a little torch. Um, I've no idea what the price is. This, this one came from TLC. But I'll find out the wattage and the price. And um, I'll put it in the description. got a sticker in the back and it comes with this little rubber thing with uh, four screws and it says when the inner air temperature of the light goes up or down the air the inner air of the light will swell or shrink this fitting could adjust the pressure of the air uh, it could make the achieving of IP65 easier I've never seen that before 